Uh, brother Jonah, good morning. Caesar, brother. Is brother Caesar there? Caesar, brother, are you there? Okay, he's not there. Francis, brother. Good morning, Francis, brother. Daniel, brother, is there. Okay, good morning, Daniel, brother. Janet, sister, good morning. Helen, sister, she's not there. Okay, Enid, sister. Oh, okay, Esau, brother. Brother Esau. Okay, not there. Okay, anyway, uh, good morning to you all, uh, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, so, we thank our uh, Heavenly Father and the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for giving uh, one more opportunity uh, to study His wonderful words of life. So, today we have selected a text uh, from a book of uh, uh, Songs of Solomon, uh, 2.15. Uh, can Brother Jonah uh, read uh, the chosen text once more, Brother? Cuts as the fox, foxes, the little foxes that spoil the vines, for our vines have tender grapes. Very good, Brother. So here, Solomon uh, uh, gives us a warning to take us the foxes, uh, the little foxes uh, that spoil the wine. Why? Because uh, our wines have tender grapes. So uh, today we're going to see what are these foxes, uh, and uh, we need to be careful about what. Uh, because he says, uh, our wine uh, is full of uh, tender grapes. Uh, dear brethren, here Solomon is speaking about a vineyard. So vineyard means, we know, it's full of grapes, uh, you see. And uh, grapes means, uh, actually, how the grapes grow is that uh, initially it will be very tender. And uh, slowly uh, the flowers will come. And then only, you see, the fruits will come later. But once the fruits start coming, uh, it is a very dangerous uh, thing to maintain uh, the vineyard. Because uh, the foxes are usually get uh, attracted uh, to all these uh, vineyards. Uh, because they are uh, uh, quite, uh, you see, uh, attached to these grapes. Uh. So... We would have heard the childhood story in the schools and all. They would have taught uh, about the greedy, you see, fox. Uh, you see, the fox uh, once went to a vineyard. He saw uh, tender grapes uh, and uh, he wanted to, you see, eat it. Uh, so, the fox, what did he do? He tried to jump again and again, again and again. So, uh, to get the grapes. But unfortunately, the grapes were so high that even after jumping, you see, uh, it could not get uh, the grapes. So what did the fox do? If you see, he tried his all his best, you see, even to climb by using the support of the, you see, vine branches. So ultimately, what happened was that, uh, you see, uh, the fox uh, did not get the grape and uh, it satisfied itself uh, saying, uh, oh, the grapes are, uh, are quite sore, hence uh, it is of no use. So let me get rid of it and it went off. So here, dear brethren, even in the world, there are stories about the, you see, uh, the vineyard being attacked by uh, these foxes. So here, Solomon is warning you see, is beloved, uh, you see, uh, to be careful about uh, this uh, fox. Now, imagine Solomon's beloved means what? You see, Solomon was the king and Solomon's beloved uh, uh, is a queen. You see, do you think uh, a queen uh, would be 
in a vineyard and she would uh, really take care of uh, the vineyard definitely not uh, because solomon was so rich uh, we know that uh, he was uh, a very wealthy king you see then why did solomon warn his beloved imagine the richest person in your country you see will he tell his wife to be very careful about uh, some little things some small small animals you see just just walk around the road no not sure i am sure that uh, some of the richest person won't do and won't warn and tell his wife rather you see telling and warning his wife he would keep uh, some watchman so dear brethren you see what is the meaning of all these things uh, dear brethren actually here solomon is warning his beloved about small small weaknesses to be very careful about little weaknesses generally dear brethren you see we are more aware and more alert about big weaknesses but small small things we don't even take care of it you see we try to neglect it you see we don't even give importance to it we think oh this is nothing nothing will happen uh, if small small things are neglected if small small things uh, small mistakes are done but those things are very very important what did jesus say what did jesus say jesus said he that is faithful in little things shall be faithful in greater things also isn't it let us read that verse in luke 16:10 luke 16:10 uh can somebody read brother daniel brother yes brother uh can you read brother daniel brother yes brother sorry brothers uh luke 16 chapter verse 10 likewise i say unto you there is joy in the presence of the angels of god over one sinner that repented of oh, 16 sorry brother hmm. look 16 hmm he that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in maths mm. and, and he that is unjust in the least is unjust also in maths yes you see thank you ah very good brother what did jesus say he that is faithful in little things shall also be faithful in greater things generally we think to be faithful in very very great things in small small things we leave it off but what did jesus say the person who neglects and is unfaithful in little little things small small minute things it is a surety it is a clear sign that such persons will definitely be unfaithful even in greater things also Therefore, dear brethren, it is very, very important uh, we take care of uh, small, small weaknesses. Okay. Now, uh, here Solomon warns about foxes. Now, why foxes? That are little foxes. You see, at least uh, the foxes which are, uh, you see, uh, big enough. Uh, they are at least to be. You see, uh, they are at least uh, somewhat uh, cautious about uh, entering the vineyard. you see because they have the fear about the you see watchman coming in uh, you see and uh, uh, coming behind the foxes and hunting them but these little foxes have little experience about uh, you see these things uh, 
and uh, they don't have a, any fear uh, about somebody coming and uh, attacking them because uh, they are very small and uh, this is their uh, initial experience so while trying to eat those fruits these little foxes actually tend to completely spoil the wine itself you see in trying to eat the grapes what will these little foxes do you see they try to spoil the entire wine so it is very careful to be about little little things dear brethren now how does a you see uh, grapes grow in the vineyard if you see huh? it is trimmed nicely you see then the first uh, flowers come then the fruits you see the fruits immediately they don't get ripe you see it takes time to get ripe you see so so this is how you see our uh, characters grow dear brethren what did jesus say you see here we know that uh, solomon you see was the wisest of all the kings and what did jesus say a greater than solomon is here so solomon is actually a type of our lord jesus christ so here if solomon is warning is beloved it is christ warning is beloved now who is the beloved of uh, jesus christ there solomon and you see his beloved that means his wife now uh, uh, who is the wife of jesus christ tell me who is the wife of jesus christ the bride ah very good bride now, who is the bride of jesus christ Where is the bride of Jesus Christ? Under forty-four thousand. Yes, very good, sir. One lakh forty-four. We, we, the church, are the bride of uh, Jesus Christ. Very good. One lakh and forty-four thousand. It is Jesus warning us to be careful about little weaknesses. Okay. Now you see, in during the reign of Solomon. there was a peace for 40 years so even jesus christ is called as the prince of peace solomon was the richest of richest of all the kings so similarly jesus is the king of kings you see and you see dear brethren what is the meaning of the you see wine eh? let us read john 15:5 uh, john 15:5 francis brother john 15:5 francis brother is there Please read, brother. John fifteen five, brother. John fifteen five, I am ah. the wine. I am the wine. You are the branches. He who abide in me, and I in him, bears much fruit. Very good, brother. Very good. So here you see, dear brethren. Here uh, actually Jesus said, "I am the wine, uh, and you are the branches." So. we are the branches uh, in this vine uh, and uh, what did jesus say the branch that brings forth good fruits uh, my father will trim it uh, that means uh, the fruits of the holy spirit uh, are expected to grow on this vine uh. so we know very well what is the fruits of holy spirit uh, galatians 5 chapter 22 love joy peace long suffering meekness temperance faith You see, so these are the fruits of the Holy Spirit which we need to grow. You see, but uh, does it grow once for all immediately? 
no dear brethren it doesn't grow immediately it takes time you see it takes time to develop uh, these uh, fruits of the holy spirit now how does it grow it grows in the same way you see as uh, you see a vine is grown first the flowers come it buds you see then you see the fruits begin to grow it doesn't grow immediately it doesn't uh, ripe immediately it takes time so similarly dear brethren the character likeness of christ which we develop within ourselves it takes time it doesn't happen overnight you see it takes time but it is during this time you see when the you see uh, the fruits are very tender that uh, these foxes will come now today we are going to see what are these foxes what are these small small weaknesses which we should not neglect and uh, we will see how to overcome these weaknesses also okay the first thing what are these foxes uh, you see the small small things which we neglect okay the first thing is that uh, yeah, backbiting uh, you see backbiting is what uh, telling uh, something about uh, somebody else gossiping uh, you see like a, a radio go and tell this news to that oh you know such and such uh, thing happened such and such brother did this thing and such and such sister uh, did this thing uh, you see dear brethren uh, what does the bible say should we speak uh, evil about others uh, or should we gossip about others uh, let us read titus 32 titus 32 janel sister can you read uh, titus 32 sister yes brother right of sister 32 yes that is true to to speak evil of no one to be peaceable gentle showing all you believe you believe three you see to speak okay. evil about uh, no one you see generally you see we find uh, more pleasure uh, while speaking about uh, others no uh, instead of speaking about the scriptures uh, instead of speaking about so many good things in the bible instead of speaking about the precious promises uh, we try you see to speak uh, evil initially it will start with small minute gossip uh, slowly it will get elaborated uh, then uh, see this will grow a uh, big 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 uh, it is initially it is a very small weakness sir we don't give importance to it but what does the bible say speak evil of no man you see dear brethren generally we are uh, much uh, aware and alert about uh, you see big uh, you see things which we commit big sins uh, uh, try to avoid tv try to avoid magazines try to avoid seeing movies uh, not telling lies uh, try to avoid worldliness all these things we will avoid but small minute things uh, which are much more important uh, we don't give importance okay the second uh, you see weaknesses uh, we should written, which we should not neglect uh, is grumbling uh, murmuring uh, you see now what did apostle paul say how should we do things to the lord uh, let us read philippians uh, uh, 214 helen sister can you read philippians 214 Ellen is not here. Oh, Ellen sister, and her sister, yes, our brother. And it is not here as well. Is it? They went to the village. Okay, yes, our brother is not there. 
No. Okay, no problem. Okay, uh, Francis Miller, can you read? Philippines 2.14. Philippines 2.14. Mm. Do all these without complaining and dis disputing. Very good. Do all things without complaining. You see, it is very easy to complain, no? I see. Huh? Yes, uh, that is our weakness. That is there in the flesh, dear brethren. Uh, small, small foxes. Uh, see, people of Israel, they were brought from Egypt to the promised land. God had given them all the blessings, whatever they wanted. You see, on the way, you see, God gave them good food. Door delivery was given. Imagine, in the wilderness, uh, no, nothing, no food is there, nothing to grow there. But God gave them the manna early in the morning. You see, uh, ready food is to be delivered at their door, door service, door to door delivery. Today we have no, you see, that was there many years before itself. And whenever they wanted meat, God even gave them the meat also. And whenever they were thirsty, you see, God, you see, gave them water. You see, Water to drink. Dear brethren, imagine uh, to drink water from the rock uh, in that hot place. It would really be cold water. So in spite of all these things, uh, what did the people of Israel do? Dear brethren, the people of Israel grumbled against God. They murmured against God. You see, they committed sin against God. You see, Read 1 Corinthians 10 chapter. 1 Corinthians 10 chapter. Uh, verse 5. Yes, this Corinthians chapter mm. 5. But mm. with most of them, God was not. Well pleased for their bodies was cut in the wilderness. Very good. But with many of them, God was not well pleased. For they were overthrown in the wilderness. You see, God was not pleased with them. So, what is the lesson for us? You see, verse 10, sister. Huh? This thing, yeah. no complaint. Same chapter. As, mm -hmm. No complaint as some of them also complained and were destroyed by the destroyer. Ah, you see, let us not complain. You see, any grievances is there we can share definitely. But this is murmuring. Uh, let us not murmur as they murmured and were destroyed by the destroyer. Dear brethren, so these small, small things. Uh, it will destroy us. It will destroy our character. Okay. The third thing is what? You see, tongue. You know, tongue is very easy to control any part of the body. But very difficult to control our tongue. Immediately without our, you see, huh? our knowledge, the tongue will start to speak. You see, sometimes it will speak things which are... You see, very, very displeasing to Lord. You see, and there James says, no, book of James, you see, please read James. Book of James, uh, third chapter. Book of James, third chapter, uh, verse 5. James 3, 5. Even so, the tongue is a little member and most great things. Hmm. Read, read still, completely. Most great things. See how great a forest, a little fire, candles. Okay. Even so, the tongue is a little member. And boasted great things. Behold, how great a matter 
a little fire kindle ta see a small fire small just uh, nothing great about it you see everything can be controlled but uh, controlling the tongue is very very tough and that is very important thing you see a small mistake can cause a huge fire therefore speaking thinkingly you see we should think a thousand times before you speak because it can kindle a great fire and spoil the entire life dear brethren it can spoil relationships you see it can even mold relationships also so it is very careful to you see speak properly uh, let us read proverbs uh, 27 6 Proverbs twenty seven six. John, our brother, can you read Proverbs twenty seven six? Jonah, brother, are you there? Yes, brother. Ah, huh. Proverbs twenty-seven six, brother. Proverbs twenty-seven six. Hmm. Fake are the wonders of a friend, but kisses of an enemy are deceitful. Ah, you see. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of the enemy are deceitful. You see, he is speaking good words only for a pretend sake. You see, let it be a kiss of an enemy; it is very deceitful. So, you see, dear brethren, controlling our tongue is very very important. You see, Judas pretended to be one of the twelve apostles. You see, that. Of course, uh, he was chosen as one of the twelve apostles, uh, but uh, he pretended to be very faithful. Uh, but how was his kiss? Uh, it was a kiss of betrayal. Uh. So, why did he go to such an extent? It was a small weakness that he allowed uh, in his uh, life, uh, dear brother. A small weakness, a lust for money. You see, the desire for money. What did uh, Timothy? Huh? Uh, what did Apostle Paul say to Timothy? The love of money is the root of all evil, dear brethren. So we need to be careful of uh, small, small weaknesses. Okay. The next thing is about uh, uh, forgiveness, isn't it? So is it uh, easy to forgive or not? Can we forgive everybody? You see, uh, we tell that we forgive everybody, but we don't forget uh, that we have forgiven them. That is the main problem. So, to forgiving is easy, but to forget is very difficult. Dear brethren, you see what did Jesus say. Huh? Jesus taught us to pray, no? Huh? Uh, Father, we chat in heaven. What did Jesus say in the last? Huh? Forgive our sins, even as we forgive others. Uh, you see, it is not only forgiving others; uh, you should be forgetting others also. This is developing into Christ likeness, dear brethren. And uh, other uh, weaknesses is what? Huh? Not attending the prayer regularly, isn't it? Huh? What did uh, Solomon say? Bind thy foot when you go to the temple of the Lord. You see, so we should never come late to the prayer. You see, uh, imagine if God is. Uh, uh, Two minutes late uh, in answering our prayer, how would it be? In case of emergency, Lord, please help me right now at this moment. Uh, you see, if Lord answers our prayers just two minutes or five minutes late, uh, you see, will it work out, dear brethren? No, dear brethren. So we should be very cautious. Uh, let us read Psalms eighty-nine seven. Psalms eighty-nine seven. Sister, can you read Psalm uh, 
Psalm eighty nine seven, sister. Psalm eighty nine seven. God is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints. Continue, sister. Always read the complete verse, sister. And to be held in rever reverence by all those around him. Yes. God is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints. You see, when God's consecrated brethren are gathered, it is a reverential place. So we need to maintain the discipline and decorum. Imagine we all go to school. We all have gone to school. Now, how do we go to school? Do we go in an indisciplined manner, just casually like that? Do we sit? Uh, However, we want in the you see school, definitely not. Uh, you see how discipline will be there. We will clearly wear all our uniform. You see, sit properly, sit very alertly. You see, because teacher will scold, teacher will see us. You see, but here, dear brethren, who is seeing us? Uh, the Creator of this universe is seeing us. So we need to maintain the decorum, uh, the discipline. Uh, you see. God is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints, uh, dear brethren. You see, we should uh, very be alert while listening to God's words. Uh, you see, uh, and uh, next thing uh, is that uh, our dressing sense, isn't it? So, how do we dress? Uh, you see, we should dress, uh, you see, in such a way that it is pleasing to the Lord. Uh, you see, the Lord accepts. Uh, our way. Apostle Paul said, avoid, abstain from all things that are evil. You see, whatever seems to be evil in the sight of others and whatever disrespects our Lord, we need to cut off all these things. So, uh, and uh, still other weaknesses are making fun of others. You see, making jokes of others. You see, even those things has to be, you see, uh, changed, uh, dear brethren. And uh, Bible, isn't it? Uh, see, uh, do we all use uh, our Bible? Now the technology has changed. Not many people try to use their Bible, physical Bible. Everybody got the mobile, you see, and they will uh, keep on scrolling. Uh, you see, dear brethren, that is one of the trap of the devil. You see, what will happen? Initially, we will try to use the uh, Bible from the mobile application. But as we go on, the tendency is that we will switch from the mobile Bible to other applications. And slowly our concentration will divert. Dear brethren, always we need to have a physical Bible, a personal Bible. When all the verses are told, it is our responsibility to check from the scriptures whether it is there in the Bible or not, dear brethren. So, physically using the Bible is very important. Imagine, will we go to the market without purse in our pocket? No. Similarly, you see, when God's gathering is there, compulsorily, each and every brothers and sisters, children, everybody should have a Bible and sit in a disciplined manner and open the Bible and read. Dear brethren, these uh, are the small, small weaknesses, uh, you see. Now, these are some of the list of the weaknesses uh, which uh, we have observed. But there are a lot of other weaknesses uh, which we know personally, which nobody knows, which uh, nobody can see. Dear brethren, we need to think uh, which is our weakness and correct ourselves. Now, okay. Now, why does this weakness come out from us? Okay. See, initially, when we come to the truth, you see, all these weaknesses comes out. But uh, before coming to the truth, we will be really good people. We will be really holy people. You see, a very disciplined people. But once we come to the truth, suddenly, you know, all these things will pop out from us. You see, why? Dear brethren, sometimes uh, when these things, you see, comes out in us, we feel 
as if we are in the wrong path and as if we are going to the second death. Dear brethren, you see, why? Why these things happen? Dear brethren, these things happen because when we were in the world, when we were in Babylon, you see, we never knew about God. We never knew about His plan. We never knew about His wonderful love. But after coming to the truth, we have clearly understood God's love, that there is no hell, that the soul dies, and there is a thousand years in which all the dead people will come back to life. God's beautiful plan is there. You see, where He is going to uh, give one more opportunity, the first opportunity for all the mankind to live. Uh, you see, so as we listen to this truth, uh, uh, what uh, our uh, natural tendency is that, uh, anyway, let me live as our uh, way we want. Uh, anyway, thousand years is there. We can come back in the thousand years uh, and uh, immediately there is no control over our body. There is no control for our sin. All the sinful activities we try to do. Dear brethren, but this is the first stage. See, in the Bible, our purification is compared to the purification of gold. Apostle Peter said, no, think it not strange concerning the fiery trials which are to test you. You see, uh, our faith is tried like a gold uh, is tried in fire. Dear brethren, well, how does the gold purification happen? When the gold is put in the crucible, and heated to around 2,500 degrees centigrade, the first thing that comes out uh, is, that is the dross, the waste. Gold never comes out immediately. So immediately, the first thing that comes out is all the bad things. So similarly, when God first purifies us, the first thing that comes out from us is all the bad things which were hidden inside us. God tries to bring it out, you see, you see, and cast out from us. Hence, this is the first stage. You see, our behavior will be totally different. Okay. Now, what is the second stage? You see, there are four stages, okay, in uh, this uh, weaknesses and overcoming these weaknesses. The first thing is that all the bad things will come out from us. Okay. And second stage is that uh, as the Christian knows more and more about God and loves more and more about God, you see, he comes to know his abundant grace and mercy upon him. What all sins he committed in the first stage, God has been forgiving him again and again, again and again. God has been giving him opportunity upon opportunity, opportunity upon opportunity, for which is not even worthy. So, what would uh, he feel in the second stage? Second stage, he would feel, Lord, what can I render unto you? What can I do unto you for all your faithfulness towards me? Hence, uh, he will offer his body as a living sacrifice to God. That is the mode of consecration. Consecrate, dedicating his life to God. You see, dear brethren, uh, let us read Psalms 116, 12 to 14. Psalms 116, 12 to 14. Uh, brother or sister, can you read Psalms 116, 12 to 14? 1 to 14? 12, 12, 1, 12 to 14. Psalms 116, verse 12 to 14. What Are shall it? I do to the Lord for all his benefits towards me? I will take up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord now in the presence of all his people. Very good. You see, it says, I will, uh, you see, 
fulfill my host before the entire congregation. What is that woe? That woe is the worth of consecration. Lord, I come before thee, offer my body as living sacrifice. What else can I do? You see, whatever I give to the Lord, it is less stable. And that is the time that God gives us the Holy Spirit. Now, we have learned very clearly in the basic class, this Holy Spirit will be in us uh, and it will be growing like a small child which is growing in mother's womb. You see, this holy mind will be in the old creature, but it will be growing as a child is growing in a mother's womb. Now, how does a child grow in the mother's womb? Does it immediately get attached to the mother's womb and she doesn't have any problem? She lives happily? No. Initially, when she gets conceived, you see, there is a time required to adjust, you see, for that attachment. It will take time. So, there will be a lot of vomiting, nausea, uncomfortable. You see, they will not be able to eat food. Very, you see, very uncomfortable situation. It will really take almost five to six months time to get adjusted. Then only, you see, after getting attachment, they can eat good food. So, similarly, then, you see, once we consecrate, what happens? The holy mind, there's a conflict between the holy mind and the old creature. You see, dear brethren, there's a lot of fight going on between the old creature and the new creature. So, the old creature will tell, come, let us go and enjoy in this world. But what will the new creature say? No, this is the sin against God. We should not do. So, at that moment, there will be warfare inside the body. Read Galatians 5th chapter, sister. Galatians 5th chapter. Uh, 17th verse. Galatians 5, 17. Galatians 5, 17. Hmm. For the flesh lust against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and those are contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things that you wish. See, the flesh uh, huh? lusted against the spirit, uh, both are against the enemies, <laughs> they can't live together. You see, the flesh tries to do one thing, the spirit, the spiritual mind tries to do other thing. So, what will happen? Uh, the thing which uh, God doesn't like, only those things this body will do. You see, so there will be conflict. This is the second stage. What we want to do, we are not able to do. But what we should not be doing it, we'll be doing the same thing. Read Apostle Paul's experience in Romans 7 chapter. Uh, sister, Romans 7 chapter, uh, verse 15 to verse 18. Romans 7, verse 15 to 18. Mm. Verse 15. For what I am doing, I do not understand. For what I will to do, that I do not practice. But what I hate, that I do. Verse 16. If then I do what I will do to do, I agree with the law that it is good. Verse 17. But now it is no longer I will do it, but sin that dwells in me. Continue, brother. Ah, uh, Yes, sister. We'll go one by one. See, it says, for what uh, I would uh, do, you see, it's not allowed. See, what uh, I would not uh, do, only those things are uh, allowed. See, it says see, clearly, See, for that which I do, I allow not. That means what? He is not willingly trying to do these things. But it is the sin that dwelleth in him. 17th verse he says, Now then it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in him. You see, dear brethren, the sinful, you see, appetite, the sinful hereditary character which is in us, you see, that does the things which are displeasing to the Lord. So, 
dear brethren this is the second stage so you know what happens in the second stage uh, same as the apostle paul says uh, read um, verse uh, 24 sister verse 24 ha uh. Yes, 24. Oh, what is man that I am? Who will deliver me from the body of death? See, it is our feelings. Apostle Paul is saying, Oh, wretched man I am. Who shall deliver me? Dear brethren, this is the second stage. Everybody, you see, every consecrated person will pass in the second stage. So, now how should we feel we should never be discouraged we should never be ashamed some people think that uh, committing sin and approaching god uh, is very a shameful thing you see god will uh, seek opportunity and uh, try to blame us and find fault in us no dear brethren god would never try to find any fault in us you see we should approach the throne of grace immediately as we commit sin and ask forgiveness from god even uh, sometimes uh, while praying uh, you see the words doesn't come from our mouth uh, what to ask from the lord shall we ask forgiveness from the lord or shall we ask punishment from the lord you see but that time you see our silence itself is a prayer to god and god listens to our prayers so this is the second stage of the realm so we all pass all these things uh, so no need to worry you see we are on the right track of development okay now let us come to the third stage you see the third stage you see here we get more understanding of god's words daily listening to god's words we come to more maturity you see more graces of the holy spirit are developed in us so then as we study we realize that uh, the crowd is not for everybody sister said that who is the beloved of christ who is the bride of christ if you see it is lakh and 44000 now who are the lakh and 44000 is it the whole world or is it the entire christian dom or is it entire consecrated people if you see no it is the conquerors read uh, roman said 37 roman said 31 37 francis burr can you read roman said 37 Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. Thank you. Okay. So here it says, in all these things we are more than conquerors. You see, more than conquerors means what? Ah. not just simply fighters more than conquerors voluntarily seeing all our weakness you see pulling it out and fighting this is the meaning of more than conquerors now who will get the crown will the crown be given to everybody read revelation 321 john brother can you read revelation 321 brother So 321 Revelation 321 oh. If whom overcomes I will grant to sit with me on my throne as I also overcome and sat down with my fathers on his throne Very good brother You see ha huh? he that overcomes even as I overcame and I sat on my father's throne 
he the tor comes like christ only they will get the opportunity to sit with christ and rule for a thousand years to brother so as they realize this one you see they come to know the importance that we need to fight fight whom fight our own weaknesses dear brother you see and pull it out and fight how did david fight with goliath you see did he wait till goliath comes and calls so oh, david please come out let us fight no david saw that goliath was insulting god he valiantly went and fought with him ha huh? who is this man who is this dog huh? who is defaming the god of israel i will fight with him similarly this should be our tendency you see we should voluntarily come and fight that means we know our weaknesses sir we need to strongly fight against it subdue it and conquer it because one who overcomes like christ only to them the crown will be given dear brethren see we are seeing different stages now ha huh? the first stage we will be keeping on committing sin second stage we will be doing those things which god doesn't like you see what god likes we will not be able to do at all apostle paul had the same experience but see the third stage what apostle paul says first he said i can't do i'm trying to do i'm not able to do but in third stage apostle paul says you see i am fighting this is the third stage read 1 Corinthians 9 26 and 27 uh, uh Janet sister can you read please 1 Corinthians 9 26 and 27 sister yes 1 Corinthians 9 26 and 27 yes and 26 there will i run this not with uncertainty this i fight not as one who beats the air but i discipline my body and bring it into subjection lest that i have preached to others i may should become this you see quality. very good sir i keep my body under subjection i fight not as the one beat the air you see that means he fights and beats exactly to the target you see similarly you see at this stage we need to pull out our weaknesses and fight fight in such a way that to fight to win the crown you see this stage you see a person realizes it is only by becoming like christ we can win the crown so he request god to permit trials in his life So as each and every trial comes, he tries to fight it, overcome it, even as like Christ overcome, because crown is for them who overcome like Christ. Okay, this is the third stage. Apostle Paul also the had the third stage. Now, what is the first stage? You see, the first stage is they would have developed the Christ likeness. They would have developed all the you see good characters of God, the graces of God. You see. in this stage they will be tested how they will be tested you see their character will be put to fire and tested see first corinthians third chapter 11 to 14 sister first corinthians third chapter 11 to 14 is corinthians to chapter 11 to 14 but one one and the same spirit works all things distributing to each one individually as he will face uh sister first corinthians third chapter this from the third okay sorry third chapter face 12 chapter 3 verse 11 so for no other foundation can no one lay that the which is laid which is Christ Jesus continue very good continue now if anyone fills on this foundation with gold silver precious stones wood hay straw 
Each one walks will become clear, for the day will declare it, because it will be revealed by fire, and the ah. fire will each one's hmm. walk, what sort it is. Very good. You see, whoever builds uh, upon the Christ foundation, they build it with, uh, you see, uh, stay, hubble, uh, and, uh, you see, wood, uh, wood, hay and stubble, or uh, else, uh, you see, gold, uh, silver and precious stones. Uh. So, whatever we build, it is being tested by fire. That means, what is this building, building of Christ character? You see, the materials used here are what, uh, wood, hay and stubble means, uh, what type of material we are using to build a Christ likeness in us? If you are using the materials which are like wood, hay and stubble, once it is put into the fire for a test, it will immediately burn away. That character won't stand at all. That itself is a clear sign that what we have built is not character at all. But if you have put in fire, you see, if that shines like gold, silver and precious stones, that is a beautiful sign that you have overcome, that you have fought a good fight. So, what will happen? Continue to now. Verse 15. Verse 14. Okay. Yeah, hmm. oh, yeah. Anyone walk which he has built on it and doers, he will receive a reward. Ah, he will receive a reward. You see, if he endures, he will receive a reward. What is the reward? That reward is the divine nature, dear brethren. So, each and everybody's character, whatever they have developed, in the last stage, God will put for testing. Jesus was in this last stage. Jesus never came through first, second, third one. He was finally in the last stage. God only tested him for three and a half years. In the test, Jesus came out past first rank. You see, now the question is that, uh, are we overcoming? Are we fighting? Are we developing? Are we withstanding the test which God is giving us? You see, now, if we had passed in the test, you know, what will happen? You see, in the school, exams, after the exams are over, what will happen now? You see, the pair, the school teacher will come and declare the marks. They give the max card. Who is the first rank? Who is second rank? Third rank? Similarly, before being promoted, God will give our marks here itself. How? Read Second Timothy four, chapter seven and eight. First rank was Jesus. Now, who is the second rank? Second Timothy four, chapter seven and eight. Timothy 4, 7 and 8. Mm. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Very good stuff. I have fought the good fight. See, Apostle Paul is saying, I have written a good exam. Huh? I have fought a good fight of faith. Then continue, sir. Huh? What is the result? Finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which ah. is the judge will give to me on the day, and not to me only, but also to all who have loved this appearing. Very good, sir. So, crown is reserved for him. God will give him a crown. You see, the result is rank. So, second rank goes to Apostle Paul. So, result is given here itself. He had that conviction that I have overcome. Definitely, crown will be reserved for me. Now, who is the third rank? Huh? 1 Peter 5 1. 1 Peter 5 1, sister. Yes. 1 Peter 5 1. The hmm. elders who are among you are exalted. I, who am a fellow elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, and also oh. a partaker. The glory that will be revealed. Very good, sir. See, I will be partaking the glory when Christ appears. Uh, so, Apostle Peter had that assurance that he had overcome. So, he's also got the rank. Okay? 
what about us uh, will god declare our rank here itself whether we pass or fail yes read matthew 25 21 Yes, Matthew twenty five twenty one. Mm. This Lord said to him, "Well done, good and faithful servant. You were faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things." Enter Very good. The of the Lord. Very good, sir. See, well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful in how many things, sir? Little things. Underline little little weaknesses. You are faithful. Yes. that is a clear sign that we will be faithful to god if given more and a greater opportunity faithfulness is very very important dear brethren so our result will be announced before our death you see god will reveal to us a conviction will be given whether we are of the lack and 44000 or not dear brethren so hence these weaknesses are permitted by god as a test to prove our faithfulness to him Now, the question is that: uh, Are we allowing these foxes to spoil our wine or not? Dear brethren, hence uh, let us be very cautious in the coming days uh, to take care of small, small things. Uh, you see, which are displeasing to the Lord. This might cost our consecration also. So, when the Lord has His blessings to the understanding of His words, uh, so I greet you all and come here the love and regards of all the.